does the process look like from the perspective of a publisher? Let's say that a publisher owns 10 websites, 5 targeted to men and 5 targeted to women, and that these 10 websites get a lot of traffic. The owner publisher of these websites then asks himself, I have a lot of people looking at my websites, but how can I make money? The answer is banner advertising. The publisher then proceeds to lay out each website's page with space that can accommodate banner ads across the top, along the side, or even as part of the body of the page. A designer would be involved in selecting the appropriate ad size and layout. Now comes the hard part. How do those blank ad spots get populated? If the publisher doesn't have a sales force available to go out and sell these ads, what can they do? Or even if the publisher has an advertising sales force, they may only sell 6-10% to of the inventory available on their site. So how do they sell the remaining inventory? Ad Networks comes to the rescue. These ad networks manage placements for publishers like the one we just described all across the internet. The publisher is paid whenever an ad is shown or clicked, depending on the agreement they have worked out with their chosen ad network. Ad space inventory exists all over the internet and is increasing daily. The benefit of working with ad networks is that they have identified and categorised this inventory. Reach Local is now strategically positioned to work with ad networks to buy that ever-increasing inventory for our advertisers. So how does this ad serving processing work between the publisher, the ad networks and Reach Local? Before anything else happens, each advertising creative unit, or banner ad, is loaded onto Reach Local server and it is then linked to one of our advertisers' campaigns. Then, when a user calls a page on a publisher's site, a request is sent to the ad network to fill the available ad space. The ad network then calls the Reach Local server, requesting a creative component to serve. The Reach Local server then finds the appropriate creative unit and sends it for display on the user's browser. Again, keep in mind that the ultimate goal is to push potential customers down through the buying funnel. The primary goal of banner ads is to garner impressions and the secondary goal is to bring qualified searches to our clients' landing pages. Reach Local continually places our advertisers' banner ads on publishers' sites and eventually a user clicks on the creative unit and is redirected to an advertiser's proxied site. Reach Local is then able to report on the creative ad unit activity. Please note that this reporting is separate from the advertiser's search engine marketing campaign reports, just like our total track reports are separate from the search engine marketing reports.